If the Earth were to suddenly stop spinning, it would be catastrophic for much of the planet's surface. Despite not feeling it, we are all moving along with the planet as it rotates, at the equator, this is around 1,000 miles per hour. If the planet were to stop suddenly, everything on its surface would be launched eastward at hundreds of miles an hour. People, houses, trees, boulders and more would be sent flying sideways. Afterward, high-speed winds would scour the surface clean. If the slowdown occurred more gradually, the effects would still be dramatic but would unfold over a longer period. The first thing we might notice is that the sun no longer moves across the sky during the day. The apparent motion of the sun is due to Earth's rotation, so if the planet were stationary, a single day would last half a year, although we could enjoy some very long sunsets. Without 24-hour days, biological circadian rhythms would be completely disrupted. The rhythmic cellular processes that tell our bodies when to sleep and when to wake depend on regular changes in sunlight. Many creatures on Earth rely on circadian rhythms to carry out their lives. Changing these cycles could disrupt normal behavior patterns. Atmospheric patterns on Earth are also linked to the planet's rotation. If the planet stopped spinning, it would greatly change air currents. Wind patterns play a significant role in driving rainfall and temperatures around the globe. Changes to air currents could result in deserts blooming where forests currently stand or frozen tundra becoming habitable. We are already seeing something similar on a smaller scale as climate change alters global weather patterns. The results could be catastrophic for organisms that depend on specific environments. A motionless planet would also mean no more hurricanes. These massive rotating storms are created by Coriolis forces derived from the planet's rotation. Winds pulled into a growing storm's low pressure area are spun counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere, resulting in spiraling lines and a central eye that define a hurricane. This process is one reason why storms can grow so powerful, so eliminating them might be one of the few benefits of stopping the planet's spin. However, a motionless planet would likely also mean the end of our magnetic field. Although scientists are still unclear about the exact mechanisms, it is thought that movements of Earth's liquid metal core create the magnetic field. Scientists call this a dynamo and it results in a web of invisible magnetic field lines arcing around the planet. Losing that field would have far worse consequences than just losing our ability to navigate by compass. Earth's magnetic field protects us from cosmic rays and electromagnetic storms from the sun, among other things. It is definitely something we want to keep. As far as we know, there are no planets that do not rotate at all. The processes that form planets and other celestial bodies naturally result in rotation, meaning all worlds spin from the outset. However, some planets appear not to rotate, something astronomers call tidal locking. These worlds always show the same face to their star, resulting in permanent night and day sides. Gravitational interactions between planets and their stars can gradually slow down a planet's rotation rate until it matches its orbital period. The Moon is a good example of tidal locking. We only see one side of the Moon because it is tidally locked to Earth. This situation likely occurs on many exoplanets, especially those close to their stars where the gravitational pull is stronger. Though these planets might seem extreme, frozen on one side and baked on the other, some scientists have suggested that life might still find a way there. Some astronomers believe that extraterrestrial life could thrive in the twilight zone of tidally locked worlds, near where day turns to night. Others have theorized that atmospheric circulation might keep some tidally locked worlds tempered all over if heat could be spread efficiently around the planet. Earth is unlikely to ever become tidally locked to the sun, we are too far away for that to happen. And although our planet's rotation is slowing down slightly, a day gets about 1.7 milliseconds longer every century, our planet should never stop spinning completely. That's something to be thankful for.